We have, as humans, we have something that no animal has. And what it's called is imagination. And what imagination allows you to do, it allows you to see it before it actually happens. What I mean by that is I need you to go 10 years into the future, 20 years into the future, and I need you to see yourself actually becoming the person you want to be. You got to live in the forward. Block the whole world out. Put some music on, some classical music, right? The piano if you need to. I don't know what you need to listen to, but I want you to take 30 minutes. Go in the closet. Go in the basement. Go, go to the library. Go, go into a room alone. And I want you to take 30 minutes, and I want you to imagine. I want you to take 30 minutes, and I want you to live in the forest. See, the problem is I'm talking to some of you guys. The problem that you're having is you're living in the future, and you're living in the present. And you keep talking about the mistakes. You keep talking about the past. You keep talking about your trauma. You keep talking about your situation. And I want you to know that everybody that's ever been great, everybody has had an obstacle to overcome. They've had a barrier that they had to climb. There is no individual who's ever reached success and he didn't have to go through an obstacle or a barrier to get there. I need you to live in the future. I need you to go in your future every single day. I need you to go in your future. I need you to see what you're going to be. Listen to me. What you are to be, you are now becoming. And so you got to use your imagination. And your imagination has to take you beyond the pain. Your imagination has to take you beyond the trouble. Your imagination has to take you to the next level. We had to see ourselves there long before it happened. The second tool is we got to embrace faith. I have to have faith to believe that the thing that I see 10 years from now, 20 years from now, that one day that thing is going to be successful. When I was homeless at 16, I could have quit. When I was homeless, I could have given up. There are many a days that I thought about committing suicide, but I said to myself, eat, just keep imagining, keep thinking, keep seeing, keep seeing what you're not now, but what you're going to be. Sometimes it's going to be hard. Sometimes you're going to look all around you and nowhere do you see success. Nowhere do you see anything that remotely looks like success, but you got to embrace Number two, you got to embrace the faith. You got to believe that although it's not happening right now, if you keep pressing, if you keep pushing, guess what? One day is going to be your day. That's right. I need you to say that with me. One day is going to be your day. Embrace the faith. You got to be able to see it and believe it that when there's no, no evidence around you, when there's no evidence around you, when you got pain in your life, when, you, when, you, when you're tired, you feel like giving up and you feel like quit. When you look around you, you don't see anything that looks anything like success. You got to embrace the faith and believe that one day going to be my day. But one day can't be your day if you give up. If you quit, if you quit, no day will ever be your day. I want you to fail forward. That's right, I said it, fail forward. I want you to get to a place in your life that every mistake you make, every setback you get, right, every obstacle that you don't, that, that, that you don't overcome, every barrier you can't climb. I don't want you to give up, but I want you to fail forward. You gotta learn from your mistakes, that every mistake you make, you fail a class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try it again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. Fail forward, learn from each and every one of your mistakes. Don't quit, don't give up. Listen to me, don't quit, don't give up. If it gets hard, you tired, not around yourself, you double tired if you have to, but you hold on. But I want you to know you will never reach your goal. You will never reach your dreams if you don't use your imagination. So when you when that when you fail that class, don't 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 drop it. When you fail that class, don't just stop going. You go into the end of that class. You go into the end of that class, and you go into the end of that class, and you go into the end of that class, because I want you to know something. When you start that class over the next semester. You won't be starting from scratch. You won't be starting from the bottom because you were all the way up here when you quit. And now all you got to do is go a little further and a little further. So keep.
preacher, keep climbing. started with a vision. Fear is not real. The only place that fear can exist is in our thoughts of the future. It is a product of our imagination causing us to fear things that do not at present and may not ever exist. Fear is a choice. Only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. I want your dream to be so clear that when you wake up in the morning, all you gotta do is step in your dream. And the first step for me was seeing something I was not before I was. You can do it. Where you are is temporary. You will not be there for the rest of your life. I don't care what happens in your life. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care where you are. Every single day you wake up, if you're going to have energy, if you're going to have passion, if you're going to have drive, every day you wake up, you've got to start with that vision. This is a mentality, like, you got to live this, you got to eat this, you got every single thing you do is not a cute saying, it is a way of life. It's got to possess everything you do, it's got to own it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. I want to see how far I can go. I want to see what I can accomplish. I want to see what I can do, what I can be, what I can have. I want to see. I don't want to see what I think I can do. I don't want to see what I think is possible. I want to see what my life would look like if I didn't count the cost and if I was willing to go further than anybody else was willing to do. One problem, the violin. Because to do what you do, you've got to be a world-class violinist. Because if you don't, when you're moving around and being thrown around and still trying to play, you end up doing what you did, and that's missing loads of notes. And there were times when it sounded to me like a bunch of rats being strangled. Seriously, that bad. But you're not good enough, I don't think, to get away with flying through the air and trying to play the violin at the same time. I don't think what you're doing right now is enough to fill a, a theater in, in Vegas. Th that much movement made you not as great as you were. Made you not as great as you were. Anytime there's a change to be made, you have to realize that there's somewhere else you want to be. And I wanted basically to be happy. You can't do anything without faith. It's impossible to accomplish anything without faith. So I need you to believe there is still time as long as there's breath in your nostrils, as long as you can wake up in the morning. The first step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. So I need you to believe. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said to somebody, something and you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that, who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, it ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you wanna be and do what you wanna do. You gotta do what you was called to do. You gotta do what you were born to do. You gotta do what works for you, because if you do what works for you, you gonna blow up. It's in your DNA, it's who you are. Then you get knocked down, you get back up, you get back up, you get back up, and you continue to throw shit against the wall.
You have a vision, but listen to me. You are where you are because of who you are. And if you're going to get somewhere else, you're going to have to change something.